Y'all, I can actually smell my eyebrows. It smells like crayon. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? gentlemen and everybody in between I am back with somebody else's hair okay I transformed myself into a ginger I'm looking brand new my husband got a new girl and it's me today we did something a little bit different before we get into the video of course I want y'all to hit subscribe and I want you to hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post if you love curly wigs that's kind of like my forte my expertise so for today we're going to be featuring this wig this wig is from in color hair i'm going to transform from this to this <laughs> girl can y'all tell that my eyebrows are pink i hope not because they are actually pink <laughs> but i think it ended up looking really really cute so i did a quick makeup look no foundation something glowy and perfect for this hair and i also apply this wig and all this type of stuff but i'm going to give you more details on this wig so if you want to learn more about this wig and the transformation the makeup look everything please keep on watching okay so let's get into these wig details this wig is from in color wig and the wig that we have here is the number 30 ginger jerry curly wig it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig and it is 24 inches long now first we're going to start off by customizing the wig of course you already know what i always do i always pluck my lace now you have to be careful because you can pluck a hole in it you may pluck too much you may end up with a bald spot we don't want that to happen take your time and pluck sparingly so i like to part the hair and pluck y'all seen it in my past videos plucking the hairline is one of the most important steps to making your curly wig look natural because curly wigs can get real thick up in the hairline it can give you eddie monster it can give you i draw my hairline so you just need to make sure you pluck it next we're going to use our zla uh what do i call it it's a zla flattening souffle and i'm just going to go ahead and lay down the front of the wig and then brush out all of those little tangles up in the front and then we're going to use our rapid strips and lay it down flat so i like to leave it on there and then use a blow dryer just to go ahead and dry it down quickly otherwise you'll be waiting all day for this week to dry and we ain't got time for that we got things to do people need to see us okay so after this is all dry i like to take the rapid strip off and here's me in my natural state i'm sorry i look cute i'm not gonna tell y'all i look busted i'm not gonna apologize for what i look like but we're just gonna upgrade ourselves so we put on the wig and we're just scoping out the vibe and see what we need to do and first thing we need to do is cut off this lace i cut off my lace i mean i'm actually not that great at cutting off lace i wish i could be better but i'm just way too lazy for it so i just take some regular anti shears and I just cut off the lace. I try to do the zigzag. Sometimes the zigzag don't work, but it looks good this time. Next, we're gonna go ahead and lay down the lace. Um, when I lay down the lace, I use the, I'm forgetting all my products, the Wig Dealer Melting Spray. And I spray it onto the top of the hairline and then I blow dry it all the way down. And I do it across the hairline. When I apply my wigs with no makeup on, the wig melts so much better than when I do have on makeup. But I don't be wanting to show up on camera looking like I ain't get no sleep. So that's why I usually have on makeup. But if you do apply your wigs, apply them without makeup. I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. So we're just going to do the same method across the hairline, spraying it down, blow drying it, spraying it down blow drying it and then next we're gonna do our baby hairs now baby hairs have become my best friend I love them so much I just part away the 
corner area, like where my receding hairline is, that's where I place my baby hairs. So if it's too thick, if the baby hairs are too thick, I will tweeze some of the hairs out and then I'll cut it down and then lay down the baby hairs. I feel like for me, it looks better for me not to have super thick baby hairs. I can't do super thick baby hairs. I don't have the face for it. It just don't work for me. My head is way too small for that. I just look like I'm growing hair out of my face. So it's just better for me to have small, thin baby hairs. And the best way to achieve thin baby hairs is to pluck your hairline and pluck the baby hairs if you pull them out and part them away and it looks too thick. Sometimes you're just not gonna get the perfect baby hairs and that's okay as well. So I keep doing it across the hairline and then we just lay it down and it looks real cute. The great thing about ginger hair it's a little bit closer to my skin tone, so it just kind of blends into my skin anyway. I don't even know why I did it, girl, because can y'all really see the baby hairs? Probably, maybe, I don't know, but it still looks cute. Gives it a more realistic looking hairline. Now I need to just go ahead and melt the, make sure that the lace is blending into my skin. So I use the Ruby Kisses contour my actual contour i'll go ahead and use it on my hairline it's a cream based contour we'll also put the rapid strips on there just to make it melt together and that's it for the hairline now we need to get into our makeup oh girl i'm back now i look like something something i don't know what i look like but i look like something I'm just gonna leave the hair like this because i'm loving the vibe and then i'm going to add some moisture into the hair but this look is gonna take i'm gonna do a five minute look i'm not trying to do too much i just need to make myself look a lot more awake i have a makeup look that i do when i'm trying to look more refreshed i also have a makeup look that i do to make myself look look like i got a bbl you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we're going for the more refreshed look so i like to use my mac nc45 if i'm not using foundation i definitely am going to use the mac nc45 and i may just use it like it's a foundation so i like to take my beat up little baby sponge and i just apply it i apply it to the areas that have darkness just to get rid of it i like to cover my whole entire nose because we're gonna contour it later but y'all see how i just canceled everything out like i'm i'm looking a little bit less of the living dead my favorite concealer or like brightener for under my eyes is this uh instant maybelline instant age rewind uh concealer oh my god it is so good for brightening under the eyes now one of my friends had told me about it a, a while ago but their shade range was terrible like definitely wasn't meant for me but now they have a better shade range so i'm just gonna do a little bit of highlighting just to make myself look more awake now i'm going to do a little bit of cream bronzing the bronzer i like to use comes in the kit and this is the ruby kisses 3d contour artist cream kit y'all i'm here for a bargain because i'm not trying to pay all this money for some makeup that i'm gonna take off at the end of the day not until i get some money in my pocket if y'all see me buying uh more expensive makeup i'm rich I'm saving my money for alcohol and wigs, period. Can y'all even see? Oh, I got a good tan, didn't I? I did and did. So I'm just putting the bronzer on. Y'all can't really see it, but it's there. Like you can see it, but you can't. Okay, we're gonna blend in the brightener. Oh, y'all see how bright my under eyes look? Yes, God. Oh, I didn't contour around my nose. I'm going to keep turning this way because my mirror's over there, but I need to quit doing that. I need to add some brightness right there. That's how the, that's how the kids been doing it these days. So I like to follow the kids. Cause they know what they're talking about we don't <laughs> okay so i just put a little bit of that bronzer around my nose 
and I'm just gonna blend out this stuff dries down so fast and I love it because it doesn't budge yes I'm looking bright and awake we're gonna brighten it a little bit more I'm gonna take the black radiance soft focus powder you can get this from Target you can get it off Amazon super affordable and I love it I think the girls oh oh I just poked myself in the eye I think the girls been sleeping on this powder because it is so good I think it's it's like sheer but that's a good job of like making me look good like girl put some on the nose also I'm gonna set in my smile lines girl if you haven't gotten to the phase of your life where smile lines are plaguing you good for you but for me we have smile lines so she look a fool but we about to round this out i'm going to take the same brand of powder this is a soft focus uh, powder in milk chocolate finish that is my bronzing color and i'm going to take a brush now she dirty she obviously is supposed to be white um, but i used her last night so and the day before that i'm just gonna take it and just go over all of my bronzing areas just go over it and then we're gonna hit the side of the nose and i just kind of squeeze the brush we're not done don't be scared i just need to add some color to the face so so i'm gonna use the black radiance uh blush and i'm just gonna hit it on the top side of the cheeks this color is in toasted almond this product right here if you ain't even heard about it you need to go get it it's from the lip bar and this is the the bronzer blush duo this blush acts like a highlighter slash blush it's perfect for summertime i wore it in the winter too y'all can't tell me the weather don't tell me what to do i do what i want i take this color this color is wind down i don't even use um highlighter anymore because it's not necessary look at that do y'all see that color you can't see the sheen but you will i put it right on the apples of my cheeks and i also put some on the nose and like a little dust on the top of the forehead and then maybe a little on the chin but i really do focus it on the cheeks Ugh, so pretty and once that's all done I take the same brush that I um, contoured with and I just go over the whole face just to blend in all of the colors oh my eye was watering that's annoying and it looks just I'm looking like I'm glowing like can you see what I'm talking about okay so for the brows I'm not gonna do my normal brow color. I usually do like a dark brown, but this is actually a lip, a lip pencil, girl. I'm going to use a lip pencil. This is from Minted, and this is in the color. Oh, it's M5. It's right here, big and bold. This is in the color M5, like this reddish color. I want to go a little bit reddish on the brows. I feel like it looks better that way i'm not like overpowering the look with like a dark brow you know this may not be right but this is like the vision and this is like a pink sort of color but mixed in with my dark brows it like and my skin tone it gives more like a reddish sort of look Ooh. oh wait this kind of look a fool do it <laughs> girl girl my brows look pink girl they look pink girl these brows are literally pink <laughs> i mean they pink but we need to go ahead and do our eyelids but since we're going a little bit more natural i'll just take whatever i put on my face i'll put it 
in my lid so I'm just gonna take milk chocolate finish and put it on the eyelids That really didn't do nothing. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Black Radiance Blush as well. I'm gonna swirl it in there, give it a little bit more of a red tint to the lid so it looks more natural. And I'm not trying to make it look like eyeshadow. I want it to look like my eyelid, you know? Perfect. I'm just gonna lightly rub it on the bottom lid. The lashes that I use are from Ardell. I forgot the brand, but I'll leave a link for it down below. They're like a wispy sort of style and they're really like short. I have tiny eyes, so I can't do big lashes. The girls are out here with the Snuffleupagus lashes and it looks cute on them, but it, it just doesn't work on me. My eyes are really small. I like to use this lash glue liner. This is from I Envy. I actually got it from my local beauty supply store and I love it because it makes it easy to quickly put on lashes now they don't I don't feel like they stay as long as like regular lash glue so I also take some and just rub it onto the lash I rub some onto the band of the lash like so like did like this you don't even really need to blow it Boom. Okay, so this lash didn't apply right. It's doing its own thing, but I don't care. It's a little bit higher than the other one. But if you see my lash line, you're too close. I'm gonna take my mascara. This is my favorite mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I'm just gonna melt my lashes into the faux lashes. I probably should have got like red lashes <laughs> or at least red mascara because it's looking like a lot. I like to wear bottom mascara. Y'all let me know if you like to wear bottom mascara because I do. So next we have to do lips. This is my favorite lip liner. This is the Iman lip liner in the color Espresso. And I have pretty thin lips. Would you call them thin? I don't know if they're thin. They're not as juicy as I want them to be. So I do a little bit of an overline on my lips. I'm going to take my Nika K whipped lip gloss i mean lip it says lip gloss but ain't nothing glossy about this stuff it's actually not glossy at all this is in the color russet oh i love this color it looks so pretty with this hair it's giving you red oh okay so for my lip gloss we're back to lip bar but i'm going to use their lip gloss in trophy wife mm. i don't know if i like trophy wife with this I need it to like pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna use First Lady. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna go ahead and let that marinate. Last thing we're gonna do is spray down the face. So I actually use this as a primer. I didn't tell y'all, but I use this as a primer and as a, um, for a setter with this NYX bear with me prime set and refresh is so good it gives you hydration for up to eight hours we want a hydrated sort of look so let me spray my face down oh 
Oh, oh, and it feels so good and cooling. Look at how my skin, I didn't even shave my mustache and I'm still giving skin and pink eyebrows, baby. Y'all see this hair? I don't even want to touch it, but I do want to define the curls. I think y'all want to see what the curls look like defined. So we're going to do that. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all can say it with me because I think I've used it in the past three videos. I use the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. Girl, so, so, so good. I'm going to section the hair in two. And then I don't know if I want to do like a whole bunch of sections because I don't think it's necessary. This product really saturates the hair. So I'm just going to take some of this mousse. I'm just going to spray it, put some in the hand. And I'm just going to add it into. Ooh, it's just so luxurious. Y'all, I can actually smell my eyebrows. It smells like crayon. <laughs> like, what am I talking about? I put so much on my eyebrows, like, it, they smell like crayon. And then I'm gonna take my little brush. My hands be full of hair. I'm gonna take my little brush and we're just gonna brush it through. I'm just gonna brush it and try and get, there we go. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just gonna part this in one more section like this. I'm gonna do this section and then we're gonna do the top. Oh my God, this hair is so pretty. Girl. Y'all, this is a finished look. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. Let me show y'all what it looks like in the back. Hold on. Oh. 
up. But let me go ahead and give y'all the look of the skin. I'm gonna zoom in as well. First of all, y'all can really see those pink eyebrows. Like, girl. Y'all see that? Like, them eyebrows are pink, girl. They are pink. And it's a vibe. I don't know what. I love the look. I love the hair. It's so, like, y'all can see how bouncy it is. Like, it's not stuck. It's, like, bouncy. I just love the look. It's perfect for summer, even fall. It gives you, like, a good, beautiful fall look. But I love this ginger hair. And I love the makeup look. Y'all tell me what you think down below. Like I said, I'll leave my coupon code for this wig down below. All the links for the makeup that I used as well as the wig is down below as well. I love you all. And I'll see you. Ooh, 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 all I got is tea. <clears throat> I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.